sports. It's in the game. I'm in there, Troy. I'm to the jet oh, one. We can make a in the same. He can make a call at the tree. I can make a ball. I'm gonna see the other day. Brother, you can't get a hashtag. Partner used to bust a couple stands off the Snapchat. Show me trying to come up on the bands because of. We don't well, to, um, we are Jetson. about 15 or so miles northwest of world famous yeah, yeah. Miami to... Beach as we are set yeah. for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today on to week 15 yeah, in the NFL, and we've got a good That's match in store as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Miami Dolphins. The buys are over. It's now a four week sprint to the finish, and we are underway here in week 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Two at a throw right away. They'll roll him out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Quentin Williams make that now eight sacks for him on the season. A situation they'll certainly want to avoid going forward. An early second and long they're facing. A first carry for a Miami native. This is Dalvin Cole. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked up by Devin Witherspoon. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. Play fake. Here's Hurts. And a 
toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. These two teams getting a couple of late season tilts this year. Their first meeting was not too long ago, back in week 12. And it was the Dolphins with a road victory, so they'll look for the sweep now here in Miami. Line of scrimmage, the third one. They line on second and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. That one into the hands of Flowers. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. This defense for the Jets, very strong in that victory a week ago. They sure did, and the key number to me was total oh, offense not. allowed, which was barely over 100 yards. That's a heck of a sign that this defense is really putting all the pieces together and doing it cohesively. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. ETN ah. called a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Did your high school have that same push them back, push them back cheer? I was a kicker. Well, it's, it certainly worked. Didn't matter whether we were kickers or not. That one worked, didn't it? They pushed him back at his last snap of the ball, and boy, they created a nice play for themselves. Would they lose three on that one? Yeah, from the one back to the four. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack, and that makes things tougher here on third and goal. Hurt sets up to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Myers' kick is good, and the Dolphins will jump out to a three-nothing lead. So pretty good opening drive that'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six. You just you kill Russian this week? Are we asked like the G? Yeah, we asked like the G to press the play. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone, and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Well, the pressure gets there, and two is going to be taken down. Clinton Williams Say it name again It's two of the tackles of the Ola Say it name again I guess shut up And it's fielded at the 34 That'll go as a punt of 42 7 on the return And it'll be Dolphin football Mm -hmm. First down Miami as they get set to you start the rank. drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches are going to be short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six 
bucks on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Oh. Second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure mm -hmm. here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him. How many yards is left there, to get the first down? One away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They go play action with Hurts. He'll drop this one off with ETN. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Throwing out right here, caught by Alave. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. There's on offense. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second and six from the ten. Back to the ground with ETN. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. And they'll run with ETN. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there. Second down. Not for sure. And they'll go again with ETN. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he will not get away. He's sacked back around the three-yard line. A nightmare on third and goal sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Third and goal they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. He'll buy some time right. He's got it. Touchdown Dolphins. Chris Olave. Touchdown number 15 mm -hmm. of the year. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays Al need to be verified Alberto. upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at Alberto. this. So yeah. they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a Alberto touchdown Lane after the crazy. video I'm review. So they like had it right. Yeah. See why a nigga grew up in, like, high being the coming nigga. The point is after is like, up and good. And the lead so. grows to 10 nothing. Yeah, I think that's what comes around. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down anyway. right at the 20. Uh, Jets offense really coming close. up now to start really. their next drive. And they currently sit I never been in Houston. over 500 thanks to their victory a week ago. But Charles Lee really is really an up and down team all year. Do you think that they have enough to get uh, into the playoffs? Hey, sorry, well, you did mention they've cool. been up and down all year, so to me, it depends on what week you catch them. Nah, when they're at their best, I think they're definitely playoff the worthy. But to me, they haven't been able to bring the intensity week in and week out, and that could be their Achilles heel. Dancing to his left. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 30. A nice 
Nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. It is certainly becoming rarer by the year to see your franchise guy take a hit like that. The defender couldn't believe he had a shot to light him up. So when you take off and run, you have to make sure you can slide, get out of bounds, anything. Just don't leave yourself open to hits like that. Um, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. No sign of Tua departing. Fourth down. They're going for it. Tua on fourth down. He's got a man complete. He's on no, his just... way. Garrett Wilson. Nice man. Wilson, 77 yards, and the Jets have got it back to within a score. <sighs> I'm fucking for the fuck extra point. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. Back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Great, great, great. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Last time I look and repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nah, I don't. I, I don't see. I don't see what play you pick at all. I don't even know. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Hurts. Oh no no. Oh. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. <laughs> here comes Carter. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And the Jets will take over first and ten. Ah, it's The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Nah. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards. Yeah, really. Up the first. He yeah, rookie looks like good athletic in touch. He's like a second. He's like a second overall on third down. And this complete to a man they run against in practice for Let years. Devontae Parker. Let Devontae Parker run past him. And he'll be taken down, but he does have crazy, first down bro. yardage. It was third and short, and they go flying past oh. the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession in the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides. But sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Hurts to throw. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. And the offense moving quickly to the line. 
They'll run with ETN. Oh, he's got some green to grow. Down the sideline he goes. And he will go out right near the 35 yard line. The 71 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Throwing his hurts. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not a first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. 63, 63, 63. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. You said what? That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the yeah, area, so no penalty, you. just an incomplete pass. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. That's caught by the rookie, Clinton Johnston. And they're going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well. It's a down inside the 20. I mean, that's the thing that's definitely First a thing. Ten, about, it's ETN. People are doing now, which one makes you know about the city. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. Travis ETN, his seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that pushes the lead up to 11. And yeah, after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the Rockets. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we go up to Orlando now, Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Both these teams getting a chance to dry out. Maybe change their cleats if need be. But halftime's just about over. Time to get back to it. And for the call of the second half, here's Brandon God. Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Is it, is it gentrification that ball? Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to Sorry, continue yeah. as we are underway in the second half. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line can play a little bit better. I think they're trying to help them out more. They'll keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Right, 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 right. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He'll look to throw. Throw caught by Flowers. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football, that's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. 
And he'll have the Dolphins first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up a throw. Throw over the middle, and it's caught by Johnston. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Nah, I didn't. I have that shit on though. I didn't go, but I have that shit on. I did like put it more towards the middle of the game. Third and nine. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Yo, where's the Wolverine? From his end right. zone, here cool comes walking, Carter. Right? And that decision yeah, to cool bring walking, it out ends up not being a good one. Cost yeah. him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Can you put another slice on the net? Thank you. The slot man in motion right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Oh. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because My they've made big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, Gross. let alone put points up on the board. My dog. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Pause a little bit. But... Throwing now is Chungamailoa. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14 yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. I'm not even going to show this. I've never said them no shit like that, bro. I've never seen a shit like that, though. They're going nah, for nah, it. Right Here's Tua with it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Play action. Here's Hertz on the move to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Hertz throw into the hands of Fan. All the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll try to run with ETA. Oh, damn, man. Play going absolutely nowhere he's belted before he could get out of the backfield that's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down second down here's hurts 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Yes, Here's third and goal. He'll drop to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Zay Flowers, a five-yard touchdown. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So what? another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. Slower. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will yeah. right now. You name the it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play. Pick play. the same game. They're rocking and rolling right now. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. We they, and they try like for you with the game, so yeah, might actually yeah, change some shit. That's true. Out of the back of the end zone, so I mean, not the same game, but I find like a lot less bullshit the passing game. The New York taking over for their next possession. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one. Like, yeah, and in my if opinion, they cannot score team. here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic? Yeah, there's more cars of like this like bad, bad passes, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has really. been in this one. I really, I wasn't like a lot of picks. The best are probably been like 369, but no. Yeah, was mad. Yeah, was mad. It's been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's I'm trying to not run zone against you, please. You know, like all the curses to cash. At least you don't know that. Trying to stop it. For this pass rush, what blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Chill out, chill, chill out, chill out, chill out, bro. Come on, come on. Come on, play. I know you're saying. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. They'll try the middle with Cook. That's the last play. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And they're going to speed things up here. Tua wants to throw it on second down. And that is going to be incomplete. He's going to be too bro. much. <laughs> well, partner, they certainly played up to their top yeah, team. Yeah, he's there for the this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts. And they're oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Trenton Simpson. And the Dolphins are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Bro, right? It seems like all the top corners like ain't really don't act like top corners, bro. Should be fucking crazy. To me. How do you fix ours? Yeah, I put not I put deep route deep deep route KO and short route KO on AJ. He has a lot middle KO. I'm about to put that shit on him in the box. Switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. <laughs> but first down hurts. And this is going to be caught. Oh, my He'll fucking. So it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone... You look quick, bro. He's on the red zone, so he's... It's intercepted. Picked up by the Honey Badger, Tyler Matthew. And the Jets are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Not yet. The one that I got, I feel you on that one. That one right there, I feel like you should have got that one. I ain't quoted it What the? Hey, yo, what the? I feel like I ain't put that shit in. I just like put it in your fucking. I ain't quoted it enough. Like, that was your trick. That's why I'm not even like. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because. They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made. The game, the game's still on. Do it in the future. And mentally, 
Game's still going on. So. They only got six minutes, though. They'll use his motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. You want six minutes in football, man. Did you pay attention when I told you to watch the fucking game? Maybe you would know how much, how long it actually takes. In there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. Off to the races. Into space at the 45. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Here's Tua. And his throw is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that Four. has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this Do runaway it. contest. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Up the middle, it's Cook. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Cover two, Tampa, Tampa two. Down. They've converted three times and eight chances. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it yes. on fourth down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by A.J. Turner. And the Dolphins are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just... Hey, I thought the same way I played Taylor, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I can't get nowhere with the ball. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with take now and get himself calm. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well, because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's no time you don't hand it off. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. And he's brought down. Mm -hmm. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack. And a turnover on downs. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And an utter disaster as the ball's going to go over on downs at the two-yard line. Cook. Oh, and down after just a short pickup. On second and goal, Cook waiting in the backfield all alone. They'll give it to him again. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Tua sets up to pass it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Trenton Simpson. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Nah, I left him. And after the level. interception, they are sitting but. in an even better spot. With nah, I ain't using that shit. That was computer. Fourth quarter lead. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That's caught. It's Flowers. And they'll bring him down here right on the 17 yard line. So a little breathing room now. First and ten at the 17. Hurts sets up to throw it. He throws oh, there incomplete. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. 
They've got a second down now as they look to okay. salt this one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Uh, give DTN running right. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12 yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. No. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. I thought I was running the fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. Mm -hmm. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it looks like he'll throw here. That's caught over the middle by Fan. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are, and let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all, but in today's football, you just go ahead and save her. Watch a team execute at a high level. It doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. What's Tyron? On the 42 as they come up second and 10. Hurts. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if you're making these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because someone's going to have to break it I will say, like, I ain't trying to do that. Like, the Bells and I receive shit in this shit. rough to stay. He wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. But he certainly will have some explaining to do. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here's Hurts to throw. Ah. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Jets are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. After the turnover, it's Tua. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. 20 GX. On second down, Tua. He's going to let it fly. Yeah, what the... And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. Yeah. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Play action, now it's Tua. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half the adjustment.